Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be doing some high-end Dollar Tree, Dollar General Valentine's DIYs. I am so super excited about this video. This stuff turned out so stinking cute, like for real, okay? All right, let's jump in. All right, DIY number one. Let's get this video started. I am excited. Okay, so I'm starting out with this uh, drawstring bag that I got from the Dollar General store for a dollar. How cute is that? Then I've got this wood plank. Um, it's like a picture, I guess you would say. Um, I got that from Walmart, and it was about five something, I think, but pretty inexpensive. I've got my chip brush and also my plaster colored chalk paint by Waverly. Now, that chip brush is super important when you're going to dry brush, or I feel like it is anyways. I like to, I, I just think that it, it works best that way. Now, as you've seen there, I wiped my brush off. I put a little bit of paint on it, and then I wiped it off on that towel, and then I'm going to go in very light-handed at first, you're gonna go in light-handed. I just feel like it's easier to do that because you can add more paint easier than you can take away paint. <laughs> so, just very lightly, I'm dry brushing, and like I said, I just kind of build my my paint. I just keep going in and going in until it is like I want it, but I'm, I'm steadily dry brushing the whole time. All right, now, once I got that the way I wanted it, and I think it looks so good, might I add, I took the bag and I'm just gonna cut off that top portion where the um, drawstring is. Now, once I cut that, I was able to just pull and this bag actually just pulled right apart, which was awesome because it, it frayed. It made it where the edges of it frayed and that's exactly what I was hoping it would do. So, I just pulled it apart, um, made sure to pull my little strings and get it frayed out. Susie, are you in the chair with me? <laughs> Y'all, she literally climbed up in the back of the chair and sat <laughs> the whole time I was doing this DIY. All right, so like I said before, I just went all the way around this, this bag and made sure that it was nice and frayed out. I found the position on the... Um, wood plank that I wanted it. And then I'm going to take these thumbtacks. Now, I was going to paint the thumbtacks at first, and then I was like, no, you know what? I like the gold. I think it kind of just, it pops just right. It makes it just, you know, just a little bit more of something. It gives it that little, last little oomph. So, I did leave them gold color, and those thumbtacks are from the Dollar General store. They're like a dollar for a whole pack of them. So, anyways, I just actually pressed them into this wood board, and that's the way that I secured this to the board. I didn't do any kind of glue, nothing like that. Now, I've got these different ribbons that came from Dollar General, Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, just different places, but what we're going to do is make a messy bow, and I love these bows. I think they are so stinking cute. I've been using them a lot here lately, and I just, I love them. So, what I did was take my ribbon, and I'm going to cut out strips that are about anywhere, about four or five inches long, something like that, maybe six inches, um, but I cut out about five per ribbon. Then you're just going to take your ribbon and start to crisscross it. No, just no um, particular order, just randomly, but making sure that you get every single, you know, ribbon in there, but no particular order or anything, just literally throwing it together. This turns out so, so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. But like I said, just throw them in there. Now, I'm taking this twine that I got from burlapfabric.com. I'm going to cut me off a little piece slide it under the bottom of this and then i've got one little piece of ribbon here that does not want to act right it keeps moving around on me so <laughs> just throw it in there anywhere it doesn't matter i'm going to tie this up super tight just as tight as i can possibly get it and i like to use a um, zip tie sometimes when making these because that works really really well also you can get those super super tight you know so i just tied this just as tight as i could get it I uh, fluff it out. You're just going to fluff it out. Literally, you know, shake it around a little bit. Now, I did hot glue this down. I added my hot glue, and then I kind of straightened out the ribbon so that I wouldn't glue any other pieces down. But 
hot glued it straight to the board. I'm just going to hold it in place, let it dry just for a second. Then you're just going to fluff it up. And this is all I did to this. This was so simple. I mean, it literally took me maybe 20 minutes to make this whole project. And I love it. Too stinking cute. <laughs> Okay, so I want to stop here for just a minute and give a huge shout out to Skillshare. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. That's right, y'all. Oh my goodness. How exciting is that? Okay, so I am so excited to be a part of this. Um, Skillshare offers thousands of classes, y'all, for everything you can think of, okay? And you can actually take these classes at your own pace. So you do this from the comfort of your home at your own pace. They have, they offer classes on anything you can think of. Um, I'm actually interested in the hand lettering. That's what I would like to do. They offer classes on photography. They offer classes on uh, video editing, um, production, all of that. I would like to take the video editing also. And then something else I want to do is the interior design. I would love, love, love to take those classes. So I've got a couple months free myself. So for the first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description box, you will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership to check them out, see what you think. After that, it's only like $10 a month for you to continue to take these classes. So it is a win-win all the way around. You will learn something new and be a part of a community. I mean, this is just perfect, especially for right now, this day and time. It is, the world is just yucky that we're in. So go take a class, enjoy yourself, encourage yourself, be around others that are gonna encourage you. But definitely check this out y'all all right okay so i got this little wooden truck for two dollars at the dollar general store how awesome is that then i've got my arteza paints we're going to be using those today i never can say enough good things about the arteza paints y'all they are so awesome i mean you'll see how vibrant and just gorgeous they are so um for my little red truck people don't worry there's plenty of little red truck in this video but for this particular diy i wanted to do a pink truck for some reason it just reminded me of my grandmother because she absolutely adored elvis okay like loved him just i mean he hung the moon you know so and i guess back in her day Elvis was, he was, he was the king, <laughs> literally. So he had the little um, pink Cadillac. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a pink truck in honor of my grandmother. Just, she would love this. She would, she would think this was awesome. So this one is most definitely for my grandmother. So we're going to do a little pink truck. Okay. So I started out with the um, Arteza pink. It's just regular pink. That's all it's called. And it is a very pretty color. Um, I painted the entire truck with this, with this pink color. And then I'm going to go in with some other colors. And the other colors that I'm using today are going to be the Mars black, the Mars brown, the brilliant red, and also the titanium white. And that, that, these paints are so easy to work with. You got one coat and that's all you need. I mean, they're just, they're such good quality paints. Now, the little stand that this goes on comes with it. And I decided to paint it red because I just thought it really made it pop. So I did paint it red. Now, once I got my truck painted, my stand painted, I thought it just is missing something. It needs something, just something else to make it really, you know, just look a little more... I don't know, just to make it pop. So I decided to take some of this base filler and I'm just going to hot glue, randomly hot glue pieces of this um, base filler to that base. And to me, it kind of looked like, um, 
it kind of looked like balloons, like scattered, you know, balloons. So I thought it was kind of cute with the truck, but let me know in the comments, do you like the scatter on there or should I have just left it plain? Let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty cute with this. I really think it looks like balloons <laughs> when I'm done. And then you've got the hearts coming out of the back and, you know, it's just like a celebration of Valentine's. So I think the scatter's cute, but let me know what you think in the comments. All right, now also let me know in the comments and you can just leave the word Elvis if you want to, but let me know if you are an Elvis fan for sure. Let me know that in the comments because my grandmother would be tickled to death to know that we are doing this today. <laughs> so let me know that one for sure. All right. Now, like I said, I just randomly placed uh, this vase filler all throughout the bottom of this, this um, base here. And I just wanted it to kind of be scattered looking. That's that's what I was going for. Now, I'm going to take some ribbon, and it's just super thin. Um, the gingham, the red and, and white checked gingham. I guess it's gingham or buffalo check. I don't really know the difference in the two because they look exactly the same. So, whatever, but we're going to call it gingham. All right. Now, I just made a simple little shoestring bow. Snip that off, and I'm going to hot glue it right to... Um, the top of one of these hearts. Now, I did try to dovetail my ends, but this ribbon was so thin that you really couldn't tell, so no need in having to do all that. It didn't It didn't really matter. The first time I put it up there, it was a little too big, I thought. I felt like it was just overpowering, and I didn't want to lose any of the hearts, you know, because that's really what makes this valentines -y. So, I toned it down a little bit, hot glued that dude on there and that's what we done check it out how gorgeous is this grandma arnell this one is for you Moving right along, DIY number three. Okay, so for this one, I've got these boxes that I got from the um, Dollar Tree. And then I've also got this other box that I got from the Dollar General store for $2. Um, I used the lid in another DIY, um, so but I thought it went with these boxes. Like, they, they were good as a set, you know, the set of three. Now, I've got these roses that came from Amazon, and look at how... I mean, they look like real roses to me. They're very nice. They're like a foam feeling. Very good quality um, roses for the price. Now, you can get nicer looking roses than that like these. <laughs> but I bought though the other ones at the Goodwill. So I got those super cheap. But the ones that I got from Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description box for those. Um, they were only like 15 bucks for like 50 of them. So the, to me, they're, they're definitely worth the, the price that they are. Um, now I just snipped these off. I left about an inch and a half, two inches of, uh, the stem on there. And I just snipped those off. Now I'm going to pull that Velcro right off the front of this medium sized box. And then I'm taking my box cutter and I am just going to slice off that lid right where the flap like meets the box. I just sliced it right off. Super simple. I'm going to save that because I might can use that for another DIY. Now I'm taking some, um, a pool noodle and I'm just going to cut it down to fit inside this box. So I just go ahead and use the first one that I did as a kind of a a template and then go ahead and cut that noodle, you know, down to where I needed it. Now, once I got it in there, it was just a little too tall. I want, I needed four of them to fit, you know, pretty snug in there. So I took my box cutter, pulled my blade out long ways and just cut right down the bottom of this. Sliced it like a, like a loaf of bread, you know, and it fit perfectly. Gonna do the same exact thing with the larger box. 
I did have to use another pool noodle. Of course, it was a different color, but anyways. Now, I'm taking the roses, and I started out, I was just going to alternate them, like one of the bigger roses and then one of the Amazon roses, but it just did not look right because you could really tell the difference, like that one was a lot better quality <laughs> than the other. So, took them out, and I just did the super nice roses, the Goodwill roses, that's what we'll call those. I did the Goodwill roses for the large box, and then we're going to use those um, Amazon roses for the medium size box, but it ends up looking perfect. Like, it literally all looks like it goes together so perfectly. See, once you get those roses in there together, they're gorgeous. To me, they're pretty. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with them. All right, so... All I did was add them roses to this. You've got your third box, and that is it. This is a beautiful set together, and it did not cost me but $3. All right, DIY number four and our final DIY for today, and one of my favorites for sure. The little pink truck was definitely my favorite, but this one comes in second. So I've got this tag that I got from the Dollar General store. It was only $1. I have got a little bit of water, I've got a bowl, and then I have got my Brilliant Red Arteza paint. Now, I'll leave a link in the description box for the Arteza paint because y'all, I'm telling you, it is, it is, top notch. All right, now I have got these beads that I got off of Amazon. I'll also leave a link in the description box for the beads um, because they're good beads for a reasonable price and you get quite a few. Now, you can get beads at the Dollar Tree also, but they're a little harder to work with because they're multicolored. But anyways, all right, so I'm going to take those beads and I started out with like 15 of them. Um, I just added them to the bowl. No big deal. And then I got to looking at it. I'm like, eh, it doesn't look like much. So I added five more. <laughs> like that was really going to do something. But anyway, so I ended up with 20 beads all together. Now I'm going to take a very little bit of that red paint, a little splash of water. And as you saw there, it was just a splash of water, just enough to get this paint where I could, you know, move it around real good. I'm just going to stir this up with these beads. Y'all, this is so simple. So simple. Just stir it up. Look at that color. Oh my gosh, look at that color. The name of that paint is Brilliant Red. It is, that's definitely, they chose the right, right name. All right, now I'm taking some wax paper and I'm just gonna lay that out and then put my beads on it and let my, my beads dry there on the wax paper. Got one that run away there, caught it. <laughs> so I just you know, kind of picked them out of the bowl. I was trying to get them out without getting all of that, that juice, that water, but I didn't succeed real well at that. But anyways, I, that, I did at least attempt it, but I, I just picked those out of the bowl right onto the wax paper. I'm going to let those sit and dry. Super, super simple, y'all. Super simple. All right, now I'm taking some twine. I'm just going to take my tape, twist it around the end there. And this is so that I can string my beads on easier. Just kind of twist it super tight, you know, as, as tight as you can get it twisted. And then you've got a little point. All right, now I'm going to just string these beads on. And I started out with the red one, and then I don't know why I decided that it needed the plain one first, but I alternated between a, like a medium size um, bead and then I did the red bead. And the red beads were a smaller size of the, of the beads. I think they are like an 18 or maybe a 16 inch, 18 and not inch, 
<laughs> That'd be huge. Okay, so maybe they're like <laughs> centimeters or something, millimeters. I don't know. But they're, it, I think they are a 16, 18, and 20, I, I do believe. I think that's the way that they come. But I just strung those right on there. I took that uh, tag, strung the end of my twine right through the tag, tied a knot. I'm just going to tie a double knot, actually. This was so totally simple. Toes, oh my goodness, so simple and so cute. You can really put this anywhere too. So this just goes perfectly with, with this entire set of uh, Valentine's stuff. I love it. I can't wait to start decorating for Valentine's now. Now I'm excited about that. <laughs> I got all my Christmas down. Now I'm excited about Valentine's. All right, so I'm taking some of this uh, ribbon and I just strung it out. I'm actually going to wrap it around my hand. We're going to be making a um, tassel for the end of this this twine or this garland here, the beaded garland that we've made. So, and I don't know why I strung out all of this twine because I end up not using it like that at all, but I just took that ribbon and wrapped it around my hand. And I can't tell you how many times I wrapped. I actually just wrapped until I got to the end there. One of the uh, rolls of ribbon didn't have, you know, a lot on it. So when I got to the end of that roll is where I just cut it off. So honestly, I can't tell you how many times I wrapped it around. I just kind of eyed it and, and went with it. But I just wrapped it around. Now I've got some runaways, some <laughs> strings that are going every which way. At first, I thought this was a total fail. I thought, oh my goodness, there's no way. This is going to be a hot mess, okay? But in the end, it works out, so just hang with me. All right, so I took some of that twine. I'm just going to cut it off. Snip it off there. Cut me off a piece. And then we are going to take that twine and wrap it around the top half of my little bundle of ribbon that I've made. Just the very top half there. And I kept kind of having to play with the ribbon and pull it in and, you know, kind of keep it pulled tight as I was trying to get the, the top half done. But it's super easy, y'all. Very, very easy to do. So I just tied that off as tight as I could get it right there at the very top. Just tied it off real good. Double knotted it. And then I'm going to take my scissors Well, I fluffed out the top. But then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut along the bottom portion of that where I'm sorry that I'm out of, out of uh, frame there. But I'm just taking those scissors and cutting the bottom half of where we just tied that ribbon. You're just going to cut the bigger portion of the ribbon, the loop, so that you've got, you know, little strings hanging down. Very easy. I'm not doing a very good job at explaining this, but hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. And I know it looks like a hot mess. Just bear with me. I promise it will work out. <laughs> so once I got it cut and I made sure that all of my little ends were cut, just kind of shake it around, give it a little life. I'm actually going to go back in and even this up. And that is when it really begins to look like a tassel. So that's all I did to it, just evened it up. See how I've got some that were a little longer than others, and some are just, you know, like I said, they're just runaway ribbons. <laughs> so I just cut that all off, trimmed it down, made sure that it was all pretty, pretty even. And now it looks like a tassel. I love it. All right, so I took the end of our uh, garland there, and I'm just going to tie this on to that strand. It'll make sense in a second because you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing once I get all this junk out of y'all's way. All right, now, I just laid that down, laid the, uh, as you can see there, laid the beaded garland right over the top of it, and I'm just going to tie a double knot right onto there. And that is how I attach to this to this beaded garland. Now, there are many different ways to attach it. This is probably not the right way, 
but it worked for me. So <laughs> it's just crafting, okay? All right, so did that. Now, I did see that I had a couple strands that were kind of a little longer than the others for some reason. I don't know how I missed this one, but snip that off. And now we've got a tassel. This is so stinking cute. Oh, I love, love, love it. I love beaded garlands anyways, but this one is just, it is darling. Oh my gosh. Check it out. How pretty is that really, y'all? Oh, I love it. enjoyed these DIYs. I know that I definitely did. <laughs> I've had so much fun. I love some pink anyways and some sparkly. So Valentine's is right up my alley. I cannot wait to just continue on with these DIYs and show y'all what I got. Okay. All right. I hope that you definitely enjoyed. If you did give this video a thumbs up, it helps my channel for sure. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Leave some comments. I love your feedback. I absolutely love knowing what y'all are thinking and how you're feeling. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. All right, don't forget to subscribe. That is most important. <laughs> Hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. And y'all have a blessed day.